here we have a nice lovely shrub growing alongside a creek here so kind of a cooler moisture area and you can see it sort of has a bit of an arching kind of spreading habit if we get up a little bit closer we can look at some of the flowers so it's got some really lovely pink five petaled flowers and you can see some of the fruit has been set already so some of the flowers have been pollinated and it's been changing now into fruit and there's some other features we can look at as well so it's got um, along the stem here you can see the the leaves alternate back and forth on the stem and it's got a compound leaf which means it has more than one leaflet per, per uh, pedial. So here's the pedial or the stem. This is where it would detach. This is what's called the, the node. So when the leaf falls off, it falls off as one piece. So that's what makes this a compound leaf. And I've heard other people say it sort of looks like uh, a beard and a mustache. So I sort of like that. It's sort of memorable. <laughs> uh, you can almost imagine wearing it as a, as a costume. Uh, some other features we can look at is if we look further along down the stem, you can see some evidence of little prickles. So this plant does have them, but most of the newer growth, as you can see, is smooth and I'm not at any chance of getting poked here. We also have some dead branches here, which can kind of help you think of what it looks like when it doesn't have leaves on it. And you can almost see that between the nodes, it's sort of the branch pattern almost zigs and zags back and forth a little bit. So that can be a helpful trait to notice in the winter time. That and the spines or like the little prickles that are further along the stem. So what we're looking at here is a salmonberry or a Rubus spectabilis. So in a few weeks, these berries will develop into nice bright yellow or red or orangish color fruit that you can eat. And uh, yeah, they're quite tasty. But later in the year, you won't have the flowers and sometimes you won't have the fruit to be able to identify it. So it's good to look for other features like I was mentioning. The, the growth habit, the leaves, the way um, this, there's prickles on it. So there's lots of things that can help you identify plants even when they aren't in bloom.